Welcome to the official iNavX support video channel uh, by Jim Sales. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make iNavX on your iOS device plot your current position on a chart. The first thing we need to do is open up settings and verify that iNavX has permission to know your current location. To do that, we're going to uh, tap on privacy and then tap on location services. We need to make sure that location services is turned on and once we're verified that location services is on, scroll down to iNavX in the list. Tap on iNavX and then pick the setting that you like. If you choose the always setting, iNavX will always be using your location even when the application is not running. So to conserve battery life, I always choose while using the app. Now we need to launch iNavX and open a chart. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, tap the gear icon uh, to get to chart settings. The three options you have for position icon locator are center, offset, and none. And each does something a little bit different. I currently have my position icon locator set to none. This is particularly helpful in planning because what that will do is that although my boat icon appears on the chart, iNavX doesn't automatically recenter me on the chart to the position that I'm currently at. That means I can go to a different part of the chart and plan a route uh, and not have to worry about iNavX constantly returning me back to my current position. If you want to move to your current position you can tap the chart item in the toolbar and it should recenter to your current position. Now. Uh, at this point, I'm going to choose center and we'll see what this does. I'm going to scroll in a little bit closer. Now, um, it should take about 10 seconds at most for the chart to recenter. This is going to be helpful in that if you want it to plot your current location and follow where you go, you set it to center or offset. If you need to plan a route, set the position icon locator to none so that it's not constantly returning you on the chart to your current location. Hey, if you found this helpful, why don't you click on the thumbs up to give me a like, and while you're at it, subscribe to your official iNavX support channel by Jim Sales.